Hello, everybody. Am I coming through? Because this is the first time that I have done this. So I am learning all these tricks right now. <laughs> I see Bernice. Well, actually, that's Julie, I believe. Yes. And uh, Cajun Roots Reseller, thank you for coming over and saying hello and joining us. And Melissa and Iris and Tim. That's my hubby, everybody. Share some love with him. I'm not sure how to see everybody's um, in Kathy's corner. So if I missed you, I'm sorry, but welcome. And uh, I have some, we're gonna do an unbagging. It's not an unboxing. I don't know why I keep wanting to call it that, but unbagging. It's in a bag. Yes. And this is my daughter. Say hello. We can't be related. Do we look alike? Are we twins? <laughs> Everybody in our family, they used to call her little Julia. Anyway. Um, <laughs> and so she's gonna be helping me today with, you know, kind of some behind the scenes, but I wanted you guys to see and meet her. Um, so <laughs> she'll be, probably on and off a little bit. But, um, okay, so I have my tools, okay? This is very, very um, not the professional tools, okay? I don't have a loop or anything. So I have my handy dandy magnifying glass, a magnet, and you have to see this, it's really cute. <laughs> we made these, one for each person in our family. And, oh, thanks. And I got some sticky notes in case I need those to write stuff down on. And a pen. And that's about all that I have. So if I need any other tools for this, you let me know, okay? And we'll see if we can grab it if we have it. Hi, Jazzy. That's my niece. And I think my sister Tina is going to be on in a little while, too. Um, she might be running a little bit later, though, so... Uh, hi, Thrifting Adventures. I think, is your name Stephanie? Is that right? I am trying to learn everybody's names. And Lucky Charm Wendy, thank you for coming on. Misha, uh, is it Renee or, or Reen? I'm not sure. And Jennifer, thank you for coming. Yay, I got it right. Susanna's Chronicles, hi. I love all those flowers. I should show you the skirt that I'm wearing today. I wanted to be um, very springy. So anyway, but I probably won't because <laughs> then I'd have to stand up. <laughs> but yes, it is. Well, there is some snow coming down right now, but we've had snow on the ground since before, let's see, middle of December, something like that. So once it comes and is quite a bit, then it sticks around for quite a while here in Wisconsin. So wonder if any of the other Wisconsin peeps are on yet. I don't know if they'll be on or not. We'll see. Okay, welcome for coming. And we're going to go ahead and get started um, on showing you things. So if you wanted to scooch over, you can. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to be on camera all the time. Okay. Um, I got my hot tea here. Hot spiced chai tea. Is that right? She made it. Still really hot. So I'm going to wait on that. Okay. And you guys see my background. Can you see it? Look at all those goodies. Ah, are those pretty? Oh, and this girl over here on this side. Those, um, all of those are available. Well, I think all of them. 
don't think there's anything that I'm keeping there. I don't know. Um, are available for sale. Either they're going to be on my eBay store, which should be linked down below in the description. And um, hot and sunny in San Diego. No fair. <laughs> um, sounds wonderful, actually. Anyway, all of those items might be in a live sale coming up soon or on my eBay store or you can just email me. I do have that my email um, down below scrolling. So if you guys see something that you like and uh, want to get, just shoot me an email. Okay. Let's see here. Trying to keep track of more than one thing. <laughs> this is hard to do. Okay. Hi, Deborah. All right. So this one, this first one I'm going to show you guys did not come out of this bag. <clears throat> it came out from a different one, but I wanted to show it to you guys anyway because it's just really pretty. Um, <clears throat> now I believe it says Coro on the tag and hmm, I'm a little over 40 so you know what happens when you reach that age with your eyesight. It kind of starts to go away. Yeah, I think it says Coro on it. So I think that's a pretty good brand. It is, it's like a choker-ish, I think. Um, not sure what that's called, but it's got, it's gold toned, but it has kind of a silvery tint in it as well. So anyway, I thought that was pretty, and it is kind of heavy. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the bag first. So I got this at um, a thrift store here, and it is, wait, hold on this side. <laughs> it's about, I don't know how many pounds it is. I didn't weigh it. Um, but it's, uh, it's really heavy, <laughs> and it's as big as my head. And there was a couple other things in there, so... Um, I needed to send a little something something to a couple of my uh, friends. Melissa is one of them. And um, <clears throat> so I did get a couple things out that I just saw kind of on top and I thought mm, they might like that so I sent it. Anyhow, um, so that's why it is open. But I got this for a little under $30. Um, at the thrift store, so pretty nice, I think. And I, most all of these are going to be wearable from the ones that I did before. What they do is they like just clear out their um, jewelry case or whatever that they have set up, and um, they leave them tagged. Anything that has tags, they leave them tagged, but. <clears throat> Excuse me, if they haven't sold in a certain amount of time, they clear them out and put them in these bags and then sell them in the bag. So this is the first thing here. It's just a, a leather, um, like little bracelet. It's adjustable. Not anything extremely special. Pink, hot pink. Got some little rhinestone looking sparklies there. Just saw that my computer wasn't plugged in. <laughs> Don't want that to happen. Okay. And then we have a little red box here. Let's see what's in the box. Ooh, those look neat. Some earrings. Look brand new. Looks like they have, it says genuine Austrian crystal got some hearts on it or they are hearts but they've got some little um five little again i don't know 
rhinestones and then a green stone in the middle. Let me see, I don't have good light here. You can see that very well. It's like a gem, not a stone, I guess. <clears throat> okay, I might have to, so Adrian is here. She might have to help me untangle some of these, but <laughs> hopefully they're not too tangled. So this, I think, is just a little, um, like, necklace that has some beads. It might even be homemade. Um, got some little white and or clear and kind of a purplish stone in there. They look like little rocks. Adrian, want to see that one? <laughs> okay, and here is a ch another child's um, necklace. I'll hold it back. Now these, I believe, are glass because they feel cold to me okay and they've got little like flowers on the beads and this is light blue so and if there's any of these that you see that you like you let me know okay that like you just have to have that piece and then We'll work out something. <laughs> Let me know if I'm going too fast or too slow or whatever, too. Let's see if I can pull something else out. Here's a, a little bangle bracelet, which I don't think would fit on my hand, so it must be a child size. <laughs> Okay, this one, let's see if there's, there is a tag on here. It says, huh, it says 1928. Well, I know this isn't from 1928, but that's what it says. Is that a brand, 1928? You can barely see it, can you? There. Come up close. <laughs> Got a little thing here. It doesn't, it feels kind of um, like cheapish. I don't know. Maybe it's not. It is a brand. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. Okay. Now this is one that caught my eye, so all the pearls always catch my eye. Now I know it's probably faux pearl, I'm positive of that, but let's see if I can get it. Look at that! So one, two, three, five strands, and wow, that is spectacular. <laughs> That's fun. And then here is the one side of the clasp. And here is the other. Now, I, to me, I think this is um, vintage. I would call it vintage. It doesn't seem real, real old, but it's not, you know, extremely new or whatever. Pearly! You know I have to have pearls, right? <laughs> and these at the bottom seem to get bigger. So those are really neat. Isn't that pretty? It's like fancy. Fancy, fancy. Look on the... Um... Oh, now I have to get my, my handy dandy thing here and look funny. Okay, 
I don't see. I see something. <laughs> Adriana, can you read this? Her eyes actually aren't as even as good as mine, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On there. I'll have her check that one out. Yeah, opera style? Hmm. Maybe. I went on a um, hot date with my husband the other day, the other night, and we went to this really fancy restaurant, and it was really nice. Um, and I wore a different, obviously, not that one, but a different, like, pearly necklace. I like pearly necklaces. So here's another one. So this one has some that are different sizes or different shapes a little, not perfectly round. And I don't know how to tell if something, if the pearls are real. Um, so if you have any tips with figuring that out. Um, not sure. There's like some questions in the chat. I'm not sure what to do. Aw, that's nice, uh, Julie. I'm glad she's watching with you. Okay, well, let me know if she wants anything. I'll make a little bag for her. So, yeah, how do you tell if you have real pearls or not? Let me know. And here is the clasp on this one. And it was four dollars. <laughs> it's not four dollars now, but <laughs> I think that's called the lobster claw. Is that called the lobster claw? Grit test. Does that mean you're supposed to rub it on your teeth? Well, see, I have braces, so I can't rub anything on my teeth. Gross. Taste test. What do they taste like? Yeah, is that called the lobster claw? I know. I can't rub them on my teeth, though, because everything feels gritty. <laughs> oh, Adriana's wearing the other one. Did it say something on that one? Japan. Japan? Oh, it says Japan. So does that help anything? <laughs> Taste test. Well, I don't know. So, um, a few years ago, uh, they, well, I wouldn't do that right now anyway. <laughs> I wouldn't put them in my mouth right now. Um, if, well, not a few years ago, quite a few years ago, my husband and I visited Fiji and, um, Yes, it is gorgeous there. So if you ever get the chance, make sure you go to Tabiuni Island on Fiji. It's the Garden Island. Um, but they have a pearl farm there. And we got to go snorkeling around there and then saw them. They opened up some of the things for us and got, you know, showed us how they do it, the not clams, the oysters, right? They were big ones. They were big oysters, though. And um, showed us how they open them to find the pearls and stuff. And they have pearls of all colors, like pink and gray and blue and, you know, just every color. It was really neat. That was fun. So I'm sure those would have had a taste. <laughs> oh, gross. Anyway, okay. This is another little necklace. It's got red and silver, little feet. Now these are glass, are they, well, the red ones might be glass, I don't know. I think the red ones are glass, but the silver ones are not, obviously. Silver glass. <laughs> I don't see any tags or markings on that one. So this one, she said, was marked with Japan. Man, I really like that. I might be keeping that one. We'll see. 
we will see. Okay, and here's another little one, little necklace. This is blue and silver. And the round ones do feel cold. I haven't been using my magnet. They are not, it's not magnetic. So it might be silver on here, like sterling or something. I don't know. Or silver plated. Okay. And then here's another little one with like these. Uh, I don't know. Are these called seed beads? These are a little bigger than what I think of the seed beads, but I don't know. Now the clasp on this one is showing some wear, but little like turquoise kind of. <clears throat> Japan pearls are good. Okay, so I might have to set that one off to the side. Ah, She likes, which one does she say she like? This one? Or what one was that other one? Or this one? Which one did she say? <laughs> I've got quite a few here that are seem to be for younger for kids. Okay. Whew, so this is neat. This is a little different. Got like these gold toned discs. It's snowing even more now. I think I jinxed it. I don't want more. Okay, this is from Claire's. That I can read. <laughs> it's a necklace. Kind of looks like you're wearing money. Oh, maybe you could do this. What do you think? <laughs> Might fall down over my eyes. Now it's gonna get caught in my hair. <laughs> Oh, seed beads do come in different sizes. Okay. I thought they were just the tiny ones. Okay, here's another little necklace. It's got a leather strap, two strands, and then comes down here to these little charms. And these do feel cold, so these seem to be glass. They're like a brown little glass. I mean, it would take that off and do it on a different strand or something. Yeah, there's no markings on it anywhere. There's a lot of necklaces in this one. Okay, here's another one with a leather strand. See if I can show you what all it looks like red and green, doesn't it? Oh, that's pretty. Red, green, purple, and orange. Oh, there's there's like all different kinds of like uh, little I don't know if you can if I tilt it in the light. Wow. There you go. Yes. The blue one that had the seed beads. Where did that? Oh, this one. She likes this one. It has a lobster glass. What? Oh, a lobster clasp. Okay, I thought that's what that one was called, with the um on this one, right? That's what you're talking about. What? Yeah. What are you saying? <sighs> She's confusing me. Okay, here's another necklace. It's got like these all different sizes and shapes of 
don't know, little stones. Now these feel very cold to me. And the wire seems to be kind of bendy. <laughs> it's a bendy wire. Oh, there's a tag on this one. Okay, this one is Leah Sophia. But, I don't know, it's got some wear and stuff on here. And it seems to have this, like, bend in it. Oh, this one's kind of nifty. So this one has a, a heart stone. Man, this light is not very good. Hey, would you go get that other light so that I can we can put that up there and maybe get better okay. better light. Thanks. Um and these have like some different kinds of beads and then the spacers. Let's see what this is. We don't see a maker on it anywhere. But this is like, um, let me see if I can describe the colors. Kind of a beige-ish background. And then it's got like the amber, this amber color in the, the little pendant here. Kind of an orangish. Hi, Tina. Yes, that would be nice for Valentine's. Especially if you don't like the traditional, you know, like red and um, red and pink. You know, if you like other colors, it would still be Valentine-y. <laughs> Hi, Westside Gary. Thanks for coming over. Okay. Okay, so this one is a gold tone. It's a long necklace. Let's see how long it is. <laughs> Everything's backwards on the cameras. How do you guys do it? Okay, now this one is marked with oh wait. Amway? Um, is there a brick somewhere? I know there's one downstairs from my phone that you could use. Okay, this says it's marked Amway. Did Amway sell jewelry? That's a long, a long time ago that I've heard of Amway. <laughs> hmm. Yes, I am showing what I have um, from this because I don't know anything about jewelry, so I need your help figuring it out. And here's the bag. <laughs> oh, here's another heart one. Okay, so this is on like a cord. It doesn't feel like leather to me. Well, maybe it is leather. I don't know. And this is a, like a silver tone heart pendant. If there is anything that you see though, I am open for taking offers. Is Amway still around? Wow. Okay, now this is really cool. This is what drew me to the bag, okay, is this. Because I was like, what is that? I have to, you know, figure this out. So this, it's got um, a leather. It looks like leather. It's like a gray, kind of a charcoal gray. Um, it's a leather piece. It's pretty thick. And then on it, I don't know if they're just glued on or what, but on it are these, like, um, silver toned metal pieces. See how they kind of lift up there? That is really, really cool. 
and it's like um, kind of a, I don't know, would you call that goth or gothic or what is the word? Um, no, steampunk kind of. It gives me that kind of vibe. So it is a necklace. There's no markings or anything on anywhere that I can see. So let's see, how would that lay like that? Steampunk, yeah, that's it. Kind of neat. See if I can get something else out. Oh, okay. So the, here are a couple of um, bangle bracelets. And these have quite a bit of wear on the inside. Um, closer, if at all possible. She's trying to get me a better light. Okay, then put it like in the middle. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Make it as short as possible, maybe? There you go. Um, these are some bangle bracelets. I don't see any markings on them anywhere, so. All right. I've got something interesting coming out right now. Maybe. It's hooked on something else, of course. There we go. Uh-oh, this one is broken. It got pulled apart. Aw, this one would be neat. Well, I guess this is going in a crafting thingy. This is kind of neat. Okay. Like, there we go. So there was three strands on it. Now there's two. Those are some really large beads there. And this is definitely vintage as well. I think this one might also say Japan on it. Yep, it does. Now I can see the word on that one. So... Hmm. Can you hand me that bag over there and we'll put these in there so all of this stays together? What? The bag there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Got stuck on me. All right. And here we have another necklace. Just a little, I don't know, strands at the bottom there. Let's see, it does have a hang tag. It's also 1928. So, got another one. Crafting bag. Might do that. Yay, better lighting. Thank you. Thanks, Adriana. I know, I was a bummer. And I think all of the pieces, though, are in here because <laughs> I'm seeing lots of little beads. Can you get those beads and maybe go ahead and put them in that bag? Because they're from that same one. A little bit of untangling here. Looks like someone's needing some prayers in the chat there. I'm not sure. I think I missed who it was and everything, but uh, this one has like lots of little seed beads and I don't know. This is really interesting here. So I'm going to show you the back of this.
it's like it's as if it comes apart but it doesn't oh so it has hmm. it's been glued I think together <laughs> or on there or something interesting no hang tags on that one it's kind of a charcoal gray that is kind of neat i think someone made that themselves okay oh i love this one i know it's kind of crazy but look it's got a turtle and it's pink and white turtle I don't even see it. Isn't that cute? So there's nothing on the back of that. And uh, there might be something written on this little, on the little claw, but I can't see it, so. But I love that. Turtle, turtle! <laughs> Wait, tassel look on, are really popular? Cool. Okay, I'm gonna show it. Okay, and here's the next one. If you want to get them out, that might be helpful. Well, maybe here's some. Next one. Okay. So this one has a lot of charms. And it's a pretty long necklace. Let's see. Um, doesn't have any tags that I can see on it, but okay. it's got a flower. And the bird. My daughter likes it. So she's getting that one. <laughs> she's like, I'm keeping this one. Okay. Maybe the next one. That will really help me. Okay. So this one, there's some seed beads, two strands. It's like gold yellow with kind of an aqua and a purple. It's kind of pretty. Yeah, on the charm, I did look on some of those charms, but I didn't see anything on them. Right. Here we have another kind of, this is kind of steampunky vibe too. So it's got this big chain and then some um, leather strands in there. But look at this, the bottom. Those are really cool. Those are, those are really long. Those are probably... Four inches long, I would say, as long as my finger. Kind of cool. <laughs> it's got the animal prints on them too, like maybe that's the vibe at least that I'm getting from them. Got lots of computers going on, huh? Well, I've got my phone and my and the computer, so. <laughs> uh oh, I dropped a little tiny bead down there. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I like this one. I like the colors on this. This is like a um, multi-strand um, aqua and blue. It's like those oceany colors. 
oh, if I could, yes. I, someday I'm going to live on the, by the ocean. Someday. Or at least so I can visit it a lot. So it's kind of a big one. See? Goes with my outfit today. <laughs> I can see. <laughs> and I don't, did I show everybody my little um, brooch that I'm wearing? It's a seahorse. You can hardly see it. I got this um, from a different bag that I uh, opened before doing YouTube. <laughs> okay. This is a, just a necklace with a pendant on it. It's red. Um, feels plastic. So. No maker's mark on that. Oh, thank you. Which hair clip? Let's see. This side I just have a... Yeah, it must be this one. It's all pearly. <laughs> okay, now here's um, some pearls. These are round and they're like an ivory color. That's kind of different. It's really pretty. And it has the lobster claw clasp. I was looking to see if there was a name on it. Now there is a little name. You dropping all the little beads out of there. <laughs> we'll show you all the little beads and stuff that she's pulling out. She's just, it says, I think it says Pat on it. So that's for patent, I believe. Oh, P A T P. Sorry. Okay. Is that I don't know. What is that? P A T P? Is that a brand? Or does that mean patent? So this these I would say are vintage. Okay, now what is this what is it called when it just does this? I don't know the name of this. So it's got all these charms. Oceany charms. Might have to keep this one. <laughs> Can you tell we like the ocean here? And we're in Wisconsin. So there's shells and there's a dolphin. This has some wear on it though. So uh, a, uh, not a seahorse. Yes, a seahorse. No, what is this? Star starfish. That's it. A couple of starfish. Sand dollar. And a little seahorse there too. And another fishy. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't see any maker's marks anywhere. So what is that called? Is it a choker? Patent pending. That's what I thought it was. The pat. Are with, oh, the, yes, they are knotted in between on this one. I don't know if I can get it to focus well. There we go. That is knotted in between. Is that a special one? Should I set that one to the side? <laughs> it is a fun little choker. Oh, is there a name for this? Like that it just slips around? Here, you could wear it in your ears. All right, and then here's one that's um, um, like cording, and it's a starfish, or just a star, maybe just a star. 
don't see any markings on that one. Jewelry is fun just to go through. Okay, this is like a, a bangle bracelet. It's uh, leather, but it's hard. So, um, and it says on the inside, it says love. And it doesn't come apart. Let's see if I can fit it. I can. That's kind of neat. I don't see any maker's marks on it. It's gold toned. But. Nice little bracelet. Here's another little bracelet. Now this one is very interesting. It's got like this cloisonne. Cloisonne. On it. And also some of the, the red carvings that you would see. I've seen vases that, um, well, not in real life, but <laughs> I've seen that there are vases that have this red, like, carving. So I'll show you that. And then the cloisonne part. And it does have gold tone. And then on... So it goes around like that, like all the way around has that. And then the middle is like um, this turquoise um, I don't know, turquoise something filling on the inside. It's really pretty. You cannot see the prettiness of this. This is really nice. Faux cinnabar. Cinnabar, yeah. And I can maybe I don't want to get it stuck so it's gonna have to have a little bit smaller hand than mine <laughs> um, which I have long long hand long fingers but that one is really neat faux cinnabar I have to remember that that's really cool it is relaxing kind of except when you're on a live <laughs> I'm not too relaxed on a live because I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, this is really cool. You guys are going to like this one. Okay, this is like, um, this is definitely vintage. This is really neat. Okay, I'll show you. <laughs> Look at this. It's metal. I'm going to spin it all the way around. Okay, it's got these little flowers, and you can see, like, it's it's cut out. Like, well, you can kind of see. Okay, you can see through it. So, look at this. It has a pin to open and close it. I am a, well, hope I can get that back in there. There, I'm just going to line it up. I would be afraid that that would come out. It's connected, so you're not going to lose that. But isn't that neat? Have you guys seen that before? Something like this? That is really cool. It's like, you, you can just, yeah, I don't know. It's like this um, really neat metal. I don't know that I would, the color is kind of bronzy. I don't know if it's actual bronze or anything like that. I doubt it. How do you tell on metals? Like, I hear everybody says they test the metal. I don't know how to, how to test them. So maybe you guys could get, leave me some tips on how to test metals. Let's see, is it, it is not magnetic. Huh. That is really cool. That's fun. That's unique. Security pin closure. Huh. Another. <laughs> 
I'm trying to relax and enjoy it. I am. I'm just, I don't know. I'm a perfectionist. Hence the name, Perfecting Pearls, part of it. <laughs> okay, this is marked LC, Liz Claiborne. Okay, so this is Liz Claiborne. And it does look, it has some, well, it doesn't have any wear on the pendant. Well, maybe a little on the back. Um, but on the chain itself, I might just need cleaned. I don't know. Liz Claiborne. Is that a really, like, uh, I don't know, sought after <laughs> collectible brand? Okay. Of jewelry, anyway. Here we have this really long, <laughs> like really long, open hoop, I guess that's what you would call it, necklace. Kind of different rings and stuff. Um, I don't really see any marks on it anywhere. Maker's marks. Okay, let's see if my tea is cooled down. Everybody take a sip. Mmm, that's so good. Mm. Holiday chai tea from, what's that brand? Mm, it is really good. Is it Republic? She's gonna go look. <laughs> okay, this is the next one. <clears throat> These are, huh? Republic of tea. So if you want some really good tea, that's really good tea. Holiday chai tea. These are so cute. I love this. So this is, man, that blue is not coming through. This is like a cobalt blue. They're little fish on here. And they're facing each other. So like they're kissing. And there's like these other little fish. It is so cute. It is glass. And I don't see, here's the clasp. I don't see any maker's marks or anything on these. But the little, the big fish have like these little um, stripes on them. I don't know if that comes through very well. And they have like this gold glitter through it. It's really pretty. Hi, Marie. Thank you for joining us. Spring clasps, thank you. Yeah, I do look for like little any any kind of marks, but I didn't see any on on most of those. They hide them. <laughs> okay, so this is another necklace. Man, there's a lot of necklaces in this one. If you like necklaces, this would be the bag for you. So this is like a silver and like these turquoise stones. It's kind of fuzzy, but there is some wear on some of them. So. Set that off to the side. Didn't see any marks on that. Oh, I like this one. I like things that are dainty. I don't know why. Do you like dainty things? Okay, this one is 1928. Man, a lot of these are 1928, and I've never heard of them before. So, so this one has the like the screw together screw clasp or whatever that's called, and it has this little beautiful rose on here. with like a, 
some maybe some rhinestones or something. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. I might have to keep that one. <laughs> I'm going to set that one aside. Okay, next one. Now, I have a question for you. What is this type of chain called? <clears throat> Where it's like braided or whatever together? What is that called? And here's the base of it. It's like a purple stone in there and some rhinestones. Now that, oh, there is one tiny little rhinestone that's missing on that, but probably wearing it, you'd never know. <laughs> what is this chain called though? Anybody know? Oh, barrel clasp. Thank you. See, you guys are giving me um, so many good terms on these because I don't know the, these terms, obviously. <laughs> obviously, I know nothing. I just started wearing jewelry maybe a year ago. No, two years ago. I don't know, but I wear it very seldom. And I don't even have my ears pierced. So I, don't, I don't really want to do that, but. Oh, here's a, oh, this is Avon. SH. I'm sorry, I'll show it to you again. It's hard to get it to focus for some reason. Okay. So that one said Avon. And then on the other side it says SH. So. Snake. A snake chain. <laughs> I don't really, I mean, I will touch a snake, but I don't really like seeing them. They kind of make me, I don't know. They're kind of ewy to me. Okay, I don't see any marks on the top of the clasp. I need to be back up a little for this one because it's like really long. It's got all these charms on it. This is a nautical themed one. Some anchors, blue and white. And a little, um, like a steering wheel <laughs> for boats. <laughs> what is that? A steering wheel for boats. Yeah. Um, I know it's something. I don't see any other marks on these, so. And this, yeah, these are magnetic. <laughs> but it's still cute and wearable. Oh, herringbone, yeah. There we go. Thank you. That's, I should have known that. Okay, this mark on this, I'm going to have to look at it a little closer. Got my handy dandy tool here. <laughs> oh, I believe this says... Uh, the girl, I think. Does it say the girl? No, T-R-I, I don't know. I know it starts with T-R-I, and I don't think it's Trafari. 
I thought it was at first, but. Maybe it is. Maybe it is Trafari. <laughs> but it's like this black and white. Now, these do not feel cold to me, so I don't know. Are they um, probably plastic or I don't know what you would call them <laughs> in, your, in the description or whatever. But we've got some... They need cleaned, but I think it says, I might say Trafari, I don't know. This one is neat. This one would be great for, for um, St. Patrick's Day. So it's got like this gold tone figure eight, and then it has um, these little green circles. <laughs> around and then look at the pendant that is really really kind of cool it's a little box I don't think it opens no it doesn't open and it has the little, the little green on the bottom too. It's got little hearts all around it, around here. I don't see any marks anywhere. Uh, I'll show you the clasp. Oh, thank you for subscribing. on that one. And here's the thing. I know you're not going to be able to see the name or whatever on there. It almost looked like a bicycle at first, but it, it is letters. Okay, it's not going to do it. So, Lucite maybe? I know I don't like saying plastic either so I probably my plan is to like um, lot some of these up into bags and sell them that way maybe to people that know more about them than I do but I really like this one this one is really cool for for St. Patrick's Day I don't know what do you guys think about it <laughs> Just gives me that Celtic vibe. Okay. These are three necklaces. Are they tied together? Like just, oh, whoops. Okay, these are three that just were, came together um, and look like they match. Yellow! <laughs> Yellow and gold. And these are all seed beads. but they are like individual. So you could do all kinds of things with those. Yeah, I know Safari is a good brand. I do have, what are you doing? I don't know what happened. You're pulling everything out all at once. Halt. <laughs> Sorry, technical difficulties over here. What? You're like stuck on this. Oh, <laughs> she's untangling everything for me. <laughs> so, okay, yes, Trafari is a good brand. I have um, in my eBay store. I have a Trafari necklace that is really cool. It's got like this Greek key on it. That's really neat. That was really cool. So. Okay, this one, I do not see any markings on it. Uh, 
it's like tangled down here. I know that can be undone, but it's driving me crazy. <laughs> it's like black and silver. And the clasp there, kind of a big clasp. So it's nice for big fingers or for fingers that aren't extremely dex don't have dexterity. <laughs> I was gonna make up my own word there. There we go. It's kind of pretty. Like a classic look to it. The silver tone. Now this one has some these are the it's like three strands of the leather strand. Let's see if there's do not see any marks on any of that. Looking on the back. Yeah, and this has some wear on it. On the back at least. <laughs> so hard to show. Okay. Here's another necklace. It's got some of the turquoise. Now this isn't like as bright of a turquoise. It's more of a greenish color. Is this a different stone? Again, the barrel clasp. See, I'm learning. <laughs> All right. And this one is kind of pretty. I like it. This one is Leah Sophia. And it looks like in pretty really good condition here. So it has double or triple strands. Might need a little bit of cleaning. Um, and this pendant at the bottom, silver tone, it's really pretty. <laughs> oh, that one is lobster claw. So what is the one? So this one is lobster claw, or lobster clasp. Thank you, Cajun, Johnny. So what is this kind of clasp? Is this also called lobster claw? Where it does this number. No problem. <clears throat> Fish hook. Okay. Fish hook. I was calling that lobster class. This one, okay, now I understand. Yes, I know. Technical. Words, okay. So this needs to be for some, all. Oh, this is a, a charm bracelet and it has this kind of a um closure that slips through the ring and you've got this white stone of some sort it's pretty large and then mb and a um eiffel tower and some 
binoculars. And this light is not very good, is it? Let me go bring you a little closer. So there's binoculars. <laughs> and this has music note and a star and a little like jewel ball. I don't know. <laughs> what is that called? <laughs> and on the last one, last one, now these can all, these little charms can all be removed off of this. So look at this. It's an owl. My sister loves owls. Not the one that's in the chat. <laughs> A different one. I'm sure. I don't know. Tina, do you like owls too? <laughs> and it's got some blue like stones on there. That's kind of neat. Rhinestone ball. Thanks. Now I know. Toggle clasp. So this is gold tone, but definitely has a rustic look to it. I don't know what you would call it. What? <laughs> sure, you like owls too. <laughs> Our other sister collects owl things, so. So if someone is, is their name MB? <laughs> someone named Melissa Blinn? No. <laughs> All right, and this one, it's a neat pendant. It's got a pretty long chain, and then this heart, gold tone. And on the back, that is Trafari. And I think the other one is Trafari as well. So this one though needs cleaning on the back of it. Um, is it gonna stay turned around for me? <laughs> Blah, here we go. I don't know if you can see, like it needs cleaned. So what would you recommend cleaning that with? I know some people just use a little bit of Dawn dish soap. Yeah, and the chain is also marked Trafari as well. So, one's a good one. Now I could lock those two up together and do that. Come on. Okay, this one is definitely unique. This one was the troublemaker in the lot. <laughs> in the bag, it kept catching on everything. It's a necklace. It's like a choker necklace because it's pretty small. Now this seems to be like painted. Let me see. Hmm. It does. It's not. I mean, it's not magnetic, so I don't know. But there's like little spots where it's rubbed off a little, like where you know they rubbed against each other like in between, like that. So I don't know, this is the back side. Ah! Oh, about to drop that. <laughs> that would not be good. It's kind of heavy too. Oh, jewelry wipes. Didn't think of that. Okay, this is not marked anywhere. not marked anywhere, is it? Oh. You thought it was? Mm -hmm. There's another little bead there. Okay. She's going to look and see if that one was marked. Matte. Yeah, it is a matte gold. Okay. 
Thanks. Looks like potato chips. <laughs> does look like potato chips. Tiny, small, small potato chips. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, crown trafari. Yeah, I've seen that too. Oh, antiqued brass. Yeah, you know, I should look at your comments more when I'm doing this. <laughs> okay, so this has, I don't know what that's called in there. Is that opal or is that something else? In the inlay part or inset. So, um, let's see if this is more. Do not see any markings. It's like a, a rope chain, but it's got the little beads in between. Abalone? Okay. It's kind of neat. It's like modern ish, you know, shapes and all. That one? Okay. I'm running out of space. Was this one marked? So this one wasn't marked. Yeah. So that matte gold tone. Hmm. Okay. And it's definitely interesting. <laughs> I'm sure someone will like it. Okay, this one is Trafari also. It's um, marked on the clasp here. And is this like a, this must be a choker necklace. Yeah, it's a choker. Because it chokes you. No. <laughs> That's pretty. It's got the pearls in between the gold. Now we're finding everything Trafari. <laughs> Can't get that clasp. Okay. So. Set that one there. And this one is also marked Trafari on the thing there. It's just black, basic beads. Lucite, maybe. <laughs> oh, you find a lot of Monet. Yeah. Okay. So this one has a hang tag. What is it? This is a necklace. Did you say what this one was? Oh, uh, let's see something. Oh, this is Sarah Covington. I know what that is. <laughs> it's a pretty long one, too. So that one is magnetic. I just wanted to chest it and see. Chest it? I can't talk. So how do you guys list your jewelry and stuff? I know Melissa, you have an Etsy store. Do you also have, um, do you also do on eBay or just on Etsy? Yeah, the black ones that they were faceted, yeah. Yeah, basic black, it's always good to have. Okay, this one is J. Crew. that's what it's marked. It's got some wear on the chain here. It is kind of neat though. So it's got some like, is this called oxidation? I don't know if you can tell where it's kind of got that greenish stuff on the back. You can see, it's hard to show. 
but this is the front of that one. All different colors of rhinestones. There's like black and kind of a silvery gray and then the white. And then on these, there's like in the middle, it's kind of a opal, or a, not an opal. It's like kind of slightly teal and then some purple on the sides. <laughs> oh, you do list on eBay, but you just start. Oh, okay, okay. Sarah Coventry, okay. I'll have to look at those, maybe. That one was kind of neat, but it's J. Crew, so I don't know. <laughs> Does anybody else list jewelry or do you do just live sales? I know some people just do the live sales on you, uh, like on YouTube or on Instagram. Patina is oxidation. Ver Vertesian? Vertesian? Here's another Sarah Cove. This is cute. It's a, like a child size, I would say, or a choker. I can't get it to be straight. I'm losing some of my light outside. It's gotten cloudy or purple. Pretty. She's over here studying up on some of these. She's trying to see if it says some other ones. <laughs> okay, so this one says is Aaliyah Sophia. Looks to be in pretty good condition. Oh, there's several Aaliyah Sophia. Okay, I'll show them. And there's like all different colors and stones and a lot of coral colors on this one. Coral and a light purple. Which I do like the coral color. I don't know what any of these stones are called if they're anything. Some of them are like glass beads on that. Okay, so this one is also Leah Sophie. Man, that was really long. Here, maybe if I hold it this way. Why didn't I think of that earlier? <laughs> oh, dear. Dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay, so this is like silver tone with the um, teal colors. That's really pretty, too. That one's really long. Oh, Verdigris? Okay. If they're cold, then different stones? Yeah. I know if they're cold, usually like they're real, they're like stone or they're, um, sorry, I feel like I'm drowning. <laughs> I keep thinking. Um, they're cold or they're glass. I mean, they're stones or they're glass. So, and here's another Leah Sophia. This one has like green tones to it. So this would be good for St. Patrick's Day. And 
And this one is Leah Sophia. Let's see if I can get that. Multicolored. We're getting down. We're getting it down. So this has um, the leather cord, and then here's the pendant. And the concentric circles. That's the back. <laughs> Showing you my computer. And that is also Leah Sophia. Now that pendant wasn't magnetic, so I don't know. Okay, here's another 1928. So was 1928, is that kind of like a place like Claire's or was that um, sold at a certain store or something? Because I've not heard of it before today. And my lighting just is not very great. At least up close it's not. So this is like a, a navy blue. Wow, that's really pretty. I don't know if you guys can't hardly see it. But it is pretty, pretty. It's navy blue with the graphite color. All right, here's another one of the um, ones that have the pin clasp. I'm not going to undo it right now. Um, bracelet, yeah. This is like a really kind of interesting design on the side. Can you kind of see it there? It's like interwoven and some sort of leaves or something. I don't know. Very interesting. And I don't see any maker's mark on that. And it is not magnetic. So. I'll put that one with that other one. Yeah, this one is silver tone. Oh, you have the, is it, which one did you say you have, uh, Julie? Higher end department stores. Okay, cool. Now it's 2028 too. <laughs> That's kind of neat. What did you say? Cookie Lee. Okay, this one is Cookie Lee. Cookie Lee. Can't talk. Okay, I'll put that one aside. And this is like just silvery rhinestone color. The uh, you have the blue one. Oh. With the earrings, it's really pretty. I like it. It would be, it's very delicate too. That one, <laughs> nice. So, this cookie Lee, so some of these were marked a little bit higher, I guess, than others. Um. So I guess the thrift store thought, thought they were better too. <laughs> Cookie Lee has followers. I thought it might. It seems like one that would. Oh, here's a little bro a pin or a brooch. Huh? This one is Trafari? Ooh, neat. 
Here, I'll show it to you when I clasp it. So, oh, it's a pendant. It's one that can be a pendant or a pin. So it's like a, um, a branch or something with a couple of leaves, like a little ivy thing. I'm not sure if it has any meaning or anything, but kind of neat. And it's got the little pendant hole there. <laughs> and this, it is marked Trafari, she said. I'm not going to try looking. There's the back. I like little pins though. Those are easier to, for me to like put with an outfit. I'm still trying to figure out all of that part of like what to wear, you know, with what. <laughs> this is kind of cool. This looks like snake skin. Um, it's a bracelet. Like a bangle bracelet. Is this one marked? Hmm. hmm. I don't see any markings on it. Yeah, this one is magnetic. So, but it's kind of neat. Like a gold tone. Kind of a darker gold, not a bright gold. And then we have a wood bracelet, a bangle. That's kind of neat. It's got all, like all of these different types of wood in there. How would you mark a wood bracelet? Would you mark it? <laughs> would you sign it? It does appear to be something, or is that just might be just some wear on it like a tiny bit that's kind of neat if you like the boho look or whatever that would be and then this is like a set of or a it's together it's like clasped together i know these are bangles are they called something different when there's like uh, several of them yes i will <laughs> i got a little spot for you melissa <laughs> so this has uh silver and like this rose gold and uh, kind of a just a normal gold, yellow gold <laughs> in there. There we go. Was this marked? No. There's something on here. It is marked, but I can't see it. Where? Right there. You'll have to look really, really close. Okay, we are getting to where there is some earrings in here too, so. I don't think it's just a little scratch. Okay, so this one, this one's kind of neat. Um, it's a bracelet, silver tone, and it is not, are you sure? Yes. Okay. Um, it's not magnetic and this is kind of a neat part about it. So it has this like punched out in there on the inside, one on that side and then, um, one on the other side. That, that's kind of neat. I'm sure that's probably a certain company, but this has definitely been worn a lot. It's kind of big one. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, there's a name probably for that. 
this little piece. Melissa, is that what you're talking about? So I don't know anything about this. If you like, um, is that mean a certain maker did that? But punched out, it's kind of cool. I need to see. Okay, this is a green, <laughs> I don't know what else to call it, green rocks. <laughs> green stones, they're like the pokey kind. So, be good for St. Patrick's Day. I don't see... Is there a clasp on this? I don't see a clasp anywhere. They do feel cold to me, so green turquoise? Emerald? Hmm. I have no idea. Stone chips, maybe. You tell me. <laughs> Are they called stone chips? They might be, because they're like little pieces. And you, there's quite a few green ones. Anybody a fan of green? Okay, then we have this bracelet. Gold tone. And I don't see any marks in here anywhere. So let's see, can I get it? Yes, I can. <laughs> it's like uh, the hammered look to it. Green quartz, not emerald, yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> You're making lunch. I need to be making lunch very soon, too. Um, usually, we have to eat at a certain time because um, my son, you know, he, okay, so he's doing school virtually, but he has to be, um, he has to eat at a certain time. But today, he's off. He has, it's a holiday. And they just ended their first semester, so I'm very proud of him. He's doing really well. Uh, we homeschool, and um, but he wanted to try public school this year. And we had talked about it actually before all of the stuff going on in our world happened. And so <laughs> we, um, but we decided to go ahead and let him try it this year because it's his first high school year and he's done really well he's very independent and takes care of all of his schoolwork and everything and i don't have to worry about that he does a great job of doing all that so and my daughter she uh is good at doing her school too like um She's homeschooled, and then my youngest, which you haven't seen or heard about, <laughs> he's in second grade this year, so I have to work more one on one with him. So these are like the cloisonne, I believe, as well, and they're clip earrings. They're butterflies. I'm holding them upside down. Isn't that pretty? Huh? Yeah. So I guess they would go on like that. <sighs> nice, those are pretty. I really like those. They're gold toned. They don't have any markings on them anywhere that I can see. Oh, cool, Melissa. Yeah, homeschooling is definitely 
something, you know, that's very becoming very popular nowadays. Sip break. <laughs> Especially with all the staying at home, you know, you might as well homeschool. Oh, cool. Hi, Nancy. <laughs> nice to see you pop in. Okay, this one is... I'm not sure. That is like a sparkly rose gold color. It's very pretty on that pendant. Um, there is a mark on here. Did you see the mark on this one? Yeah. Let's see if I can read it. Get my handy dandy tool. Who is it that says that? Oh, this one? Who is it that says the handy dandy? Like it's my like handy dandy toolbox, I think is what he says. -C I forget who says that. A -E <laughs> Teach them everything you know. <laughs> How long did that take, Stephanie? <laughs> Just teasing. But, you know, doing this e the eBay thing, I've been teaching my kids about business and all kinds of stuff like that. And we already um, do a lot of like goal setting and that kind of thing with our kids. And uh, the two older ones, so my daughter, she wants to own a cupcake bakery someday. Like that's her main goal. So we make cupcakes and we make cakes and we decorate them and we do all of that. We've done it for quite a while. So I, now she's 13. She just turned 13 a couple months ago and or like three months, four months. Anyway. And uh, she's uh, I can just turn her loose in the kitchen and let her just basically do whatever. So She's she's a big big help to me. Okay, what did you say this said? Or you can't see it. K C A E A. K C. Anything close to that? E A. A E A. A E A. Oh, I think it's Korea. I think it says Korea. <laughs> Handy Manny. <laughs> Yes, I think you're right. Cause it's one of those kid shows. That is just really, really pretty. I really like that one. I might take that one too. <laughs> okay. Oh, these are neat. Those are really cool. These are like, I think, is this polymer clay? That somebody did? And these like spikes. So these are pierced earrings. And I know I'm probably holding that upside down. Oh well. Um trying to see. Are earrings marked a lot of times? I don't see any markings on them, but that looks really cool. being away from their friends. I totally understand that. So with us doing homeschooling, we have um, had, you know, like we've built some relationships over the years and stuff. And so we'll get together maybe with like a couple of people. Um, but my youngest is the one that's, he doesn't get to spend a lot of time, time with his friends because it's harder with the younger one. So yeah, I totally get that. But um, our youth group back when this started, uh, one of the other moms 
she did a Zoom with the kids to kind of keep them, you know, together. So maybe try a Zoom, little Zoom meeting, Zoom play date. <laughs> and you can play little games with them on there and stuff. Like, you know, that's kind of fun. So I know it's very hard. Um when they have, you know, all these friends and then they can't see them or whatever, you know. On the hangy thing. <laughs> You're like me on the hangy thing. Tiny writing. <sighs> I don't see any. I was trying to see if there was something. But, but those are really cool. Those are neat. But again, I don't have pierce, so, you know. But I would wear this. Oh, here's another Trafari pin. That's really neat. Silver tone. It's like a C. Or a swoop. <laughs> That's pretty. Here's, this is a necklace. Now these are, I believe, glass. Yeah, these are glass beads. Um, no, oh, there it is. There's a barrel, a barrel clasp. Your youngest is a freshman in college. Aw, with her best friend only, yeah. Is she doing virtual college? <laughs> I did, Melissa. <laughs> I did even before you asked. <laughs> um, so this one is kind of neat. This uh, is like kind of a cream color and then the brown. Um, or amber glass bead. That one's neat. And really long. <laughs> yeah. Our, um, in, well, close, kind of close by us, in Madison, they, um, UW, they have kids coming back, or, you know, they had them, they let them start this year. Um, but they didn't let our... So from kindergarten to second grade, you could go back to school. Like, you could go in person. But all of the rest of them, you couldn't go in person at all. From third grade up to um, 12th grade, you had to do it virtual. Like, there wasn't an option. Um, around where we're at. And so, so that was kind of like, we were like, man, that's unfair. You know, they're letting the college kids come back, but not the younger ones. But anyway, there was a whole big ordeal about all of that. Getting down to the very last bits. And this is very pretty. This is like a shell or something like that. And it's carved. It's um, like iridescent. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I need another sip break. And I think someone has just put that on this um, pin. Like they've glued it on there. And the pin has some like, this little part has some rusting. So I wonder if, if you could take that off of there carefully. Very carefully and put it on a different pin. That is so pretty. But with that rust on there, I don't know that I'd want to wear it in, you know, on my clothing. I love that. Carved abalone or mother of, mother of pearl. Yeah. I like that one. So good. Yeah. Everyone's really nervous. Yeah. Like one friend. No, that's very hard.
Yep. We just had some friends that, well, we saw them before Christmas, so, but we haven't been around them, but they, their whole family, I think, tested positive. We found out like last week. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't know. Yeah. Which one? At least the dad tested positive. And they thought the other ones probably did had it too, so. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. So we go scuba diving too, and that would be cool to to find shells and stuff. So this one, was this one marked, this pin? This brooch? Sounds cooler mm -hmm. that way. I don't see any markings on that one. It's got, it's just a rhinestone like wreath. Kind of pretty. Okay. What is that one over there? Or those over there? Oh, this one's neat. These are neat. So these are for pierced, these are pierced earrings. And they're owls. And they're black. I'm going to take it out of the black here. Did these have any marks on it? Hmm. Um, no. Is there one MRI? Oh, or it's NR. NRT. What is NRT? Anybody know? Okay, well, we're getting down to the last few. Trying to show you all the little details on this. <laughs> Those are really neat. <laughs> I think I think she does have pierced. I think our other sister does have pierced, so I might have to save those for her. <laughs> oh, and they have stones for a belly? Huh, I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, NRT is just a common mark. It was on, uh-oh, is this one broken? This one can be fixed very easily though. The one of the uh, the chain piece opened up. So this one is kind of neat. It's like a coral on that side. White on this side. These feel cold. Those are neat. Was this marked? Hmm? Was this marked? This feels like shell, like seashell. See, look, look at that one. So. Some of it look feels like a seashell. So is that what they call abalone? If it's seashell? <laughs> Um, I, there was one pair of clip-ons so far, um, ah, dropping it, and these are, they're like butterflies, isn't that pretty? It's like this royal blue with a corally red and the turquoise in there, so there's two of those. And it's like a butterfly and then I've got some more I haven't gone I haven't shown you yet she's gotten them out but so these are clip they're like mm, they're probably loose sight Jelly bellies. <laughs> Aw. 
cool. So the black, is that an onyx? Except it doesn't feel cold to me. So I'm wondering if it's just lucite. Okay, on these, there is a mark on the back of them. I'm gonna have her look at that. Can you maybe read what this says? On that. There's a mark on there. All right, these are pierced, but they also have, they have this part. No, I don't think so. Um, I don't know if these are called something. Okay, they look like a shell, like a seashell. Okay, day trip. I don't, do I know what your name is? I don't know if I do. Thank you for coming. Safety, security, closure. Huh. Okay. <laughs> uh, so these have like gold and silver tone to them. And then, I don't think there's anything there. These are pierced. Just kind of pearl, basic pearl. You don't think it's... Oh, another Julie. Hey, I got all the Julies in here. Except mine is Julia. So, it has the A on it. I have had a, like, a best friend named Julie, you know, all throughout my life. So, like, or a good friend. Um, my best friend, her, yeah, her name is Julie, but her real name is Julia, so, but she always went by Julie <laughs> because, you know, we were together a lot. You don't think that one was, was marked? No. Okay. Yeah. So she don't think these are marked, but I thought I saw something on there. Maybe I'll look. <laughs> Ooh, now this is kind of neat. What is this one marked? Is this one Monet? Mm -hmm. Here's your Monet, Melissa. <laughs> and it is a pin, and it's a really big one. So like, a whole finger's length. And it's gold tone. That one is pretty stunning. You could even do it this way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Julie, I think, was the name pretty popular, at least. Um, or Julia, Julie, for a long time. I didn't... <clears throat> Um, I was named after my grandma, so, on my dad's side. Now, this one is Mamzelle, this little pin or brooch here. It's a horsey! It's gold tone. Any horsey fans in the, in the group? I know someone that is. <laughs> Pearly girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Julie and Julia is a kind of common name. Not extreme, not like some, but yeah, it is. Um, Melissa, which one did you say? Oh, Omega Clip. Okay. 
to put off to the side? Was it the horse one or a different one? Oh, the, I know, the Monet, right? Serendipity by Melanie. Oh, cool. Nice. Okay, so these are pierced and they are these neat little flower earrings and they have a rhinestone in the middle and then the faceted petals. It's kind of neat. Oh, yeah. Okay. And this is the back of those. So are th would this be, this is just probably costume jewelry. <laughs> All the J's. Yeah. <clears throat> My other sister named all of her boys with G names, and that gets fun. <laughs> She's got seven children, so yeah, that gets real fun. These are some sun earrings. And they're like this. And a few more, almost done. Oh, these are little flip-flops. They've got like a tiny blue um, like rhinestone in there. I don't know if you can see the color. Kind of. <laughs> and those are pierced as well. I don't know if those are marked. Can you s hand me the rest? I don't see any markings on that one. Bye, Nancy. Thanks for uh, coming and joining us. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs> okay, so this one's got some wear on it. Some little circle earrings. Yeah, I don't see any marks on that one. And, oh, these are kind of neat. Are these marked anywhere that you could tell? I don't see any markings on these, but these are kind of neat. There's a yellow and a green stone on there. Except they don't feel cold to me, so those are probably lucite, I would say, and they're pierced. And then, is this the last one? Oh wait, nope, we've got this one. Mm -hmm. Anything else? That's underneath, but there's a couple of little things in there if you wanna put that in the bag. So the only really broken piece was that one, wasn't it? Was that? Yeah, the only broken one was the one, yay. So this is a necklace pendant here. Um, I think she looked all over this to see if there was color. There was something in there. There's writing in there? It's right here. Ends in FOSS. Ends in what? FOSS. F-O-S? F-A-S? It ends in F-A-S. Anybody know? I think it's two words. She thinks it's two words. 
I can't see it right now. <laughs> yeah. That one. It's like a pink. It's very pretty. Okay, where's the... Oh, this one. <laughs> it's like, where did the other one go? Uh-oh. I just messed it all up. All right, and this one is the last one I think that we have in the bag. Or out of the bag. <laughs> it's really pretty. It's like um, gold tones, kind of a rose gold and and the turquoise little beads. And that one is marked CH. I don't know what CH is. Yes. I do. And this one. Oh, I know why she's keeping this. <laughs> she's going to keep this one. So this one is Wisconsin. And it has a heart on there marked for like Madison area I think I would say nice it's just a little chain and she wants to keep these too these are wow these are interesting now these are screw back earrings And, okay, <laughs> trying to figure out like rhinestones and then they have this neat thing down here on the bottom. Those are cool. Those are vintage for sure. See the backs of them. Oh, that one already showed. Okay. All right. Well, I think that is all. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Yeah. Um, CH, it's a maker's um, mark on that one. Where did it go? Um, not, I don't think it means China. Let's see. CH. Who needs less help? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming. And yes, go back through, send me an email if there's certain things that you like or your granddaughter likes or whatever. Um, let me know. And Thank you all for coming and helping me figure this stuff out. Um, Cause again, I don't know any of it. <laughs> so if you want just a, a mystery bag, I can do that too. Um, I'm not sure exactly uh, how much to sell the mystery bags for, but I could do like, you know, I could do it by size. And um, you know, we could work something out. I don't know, like not size by weight or or by you know the size of the bag or whatever. Um, like sandwich baggy size or or however. So thank you everybody for coming and be sure to like and comment the video. Um, like once you leave, just leave another little comment because the live comments don't like show up on, I mean, you can watch them later. Anyway, whatever. Uh, <laughs> and, um, yeah, so email me if you see something you like, or if you want me to watch out for something, I can, um, I could, 
possibly even, you know, get one of the big bags and divide it up into smaller pieces and just have mystery lots or, or however you, you know, like whatever you're interested in. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.